Lately, I've been hearing a lot of ads on the radio for banks and other lending institutions who want my money. And they go something like this. Are you a dreamer? Do you have a dream? Here at 7th National Bank, we believe in dreams because we are dreamers too. Dreams inspire us to do more and to be better. We want to help you with your dream. We want to protect your dream. We want to help you make your dream a reality. We'll help you make your dream come true. Come to us here at 7th National and be sure to bring your dream along. We'll be happy to build that dream together because your dream is our business. Well, it so happens that, like many people, I do have a dream. I hear these ads over and over and finally I convince myself to go into one of these banks and tell them about my dream. So, I did. I go uh, into a bank and I tell someone I have a dream. Saying that, I feel a little like Martin Luther King. Of course, sir, the person behind the counter says to me, please follow me. I do. She takes me to a man who has a desk in a tiny little office that has a lot of American flags and pictures of his family. I take a seat and tell him, I'm there because I have a dream. Tell me all about it, he says, smiling. Dreams are our business. So I've heard, I say, and then I tell him my dream. I have a dream where I have a lot of money, so much money that extremely good-looking young women would be not just willing, but eager to have sex with me. He looks puzzled. How can we help you, he says. I think that's pretty obvious, but I keep that thought to myself. By giving me the money, I say. I don't think that's possible, he says. Why not, I ask him. That's my dream. I thought dreams were your business. Yes, sir, they are, he says. We lend money to small businesses and for home loans, typically, that kind of thing, he says. What about my dream, I say? He looks nervous, kind of like the guy who's pressing a secret button to call security. Are you serious, he says. Never more so, I tell him. We can't help you, sir, he says. I thought you supported dreamers, I say. We do, he says. Okay, so I'm a dreamer. Help me out. Long story short, he's not going to lend me any money. Something about my dream not being in the proper category or something. As far as I'm concerned, it's a case of false advertising, which is probably a redundant phrase anyway. I think about maybe staging a little protest, like marching outside his bank carrying a sign that reads, This bank does not support dreams. No justice, no loan. Like that. It could be the whole civil rights movement all over again. But I figure that's a waste of time. I don't want to defend a principle. I want money. I want my dream to come true. I'll be a lot better off if I just try another bank. That's what I do. And I get the same response. Business loans, real estate transactions, car leasing, even certain investment possibilities. But I haven't been dreaming about a car, I say. Your ads say to bring my dream to you, any dream. They don't say any particular kind of dream, but that argument doesn't get me anywhere. And it's the same story everywhere I go. I wonder if it was like that with Dr. King and his dream. None of the banks is interested in my dream, not enough to give me any money. One guy showed a little interest. He gave me, if not the time of day, at least a moment. He asked me, how much do you think that will take, when I told him about my dream. Several million, I said. At least, he said. But he didn't offer me a dime. I'm telling you this so you won't waste your time like I did. If you have a dream, my advice is to keep it on the pillow. Don't go taking it to the bank. That won't get you anywhere. No matter what they say, based on my experiences, banks don't care about our dreams.